Rocks and Art, the channel that brings you cool rocks, fun crystals, and awesome agates. It's Rocks and Art here, back at you with another video. As you can see today, I'm in the woods. And if you might recognize this spot from another video, titled Cracking Open Rocks for Crystals, this is the same spot where I can find rocks with crystal vugs. And I've been here for a while and I just decided to start a video to show you guys a few of the things I found and maybe uncover something as well. So, here's one of the things I found. As you can see, I decided to do it upside down for the first... Okay, so here it is. This is a large calcite vug with an interesting coating on top of it which is interesting like look at that <laughs> there's the interior of it and i split this rock open as well and there's a few more so that's a really interesting as you can see these rocks have some sort of weird coating on them in some instances which is really interesting so that's that first rock I have noticed a problem in this area um, is that there's a lot of leaves, as you can see, and most of the time, those leaves cover all the rocks that might have crystals in them. So today, I brought a giant rake, and so yeah, and you're wondering what that sign is, it has a big piece of cardboard. and. It moves a lot of air, so it helps me. So yeah, so let's get going here. Here's another one of the rocks I found. Um, so here's, I was just like getting in this rock and I noticed that here's just kind of a couple regular small calcite plates. But the really interesting thing about this rock is that they have kind of an orange band below the surface. So you can see the crystals kind of reflect that a little bit. They look a bit orange or pink. But in the in the center there, it's very orange. And I've never even seen this before. It's very interesting. This one is even a bit darker. But you can see just that really weird orange color. I suspect, here's another one. This is a pretty big plate also with the orange, which is really fun. And so, yeah, I was raking around. Here's another rock I found. Pretty cool. You can see this one is just covered in kind of a red druzy quartz, which is really cool. It's got all these weird cavities. Very interesting, though, as you guys can see. And this is just kind of some sort of rock retaining wall. As you can see here, in a couple seconds. You probably can't really hear what I'm saying since the leaves are so loud, but yeah. Here it is. This is a drainage pipe, and these rocks are put here to uh, prevent like collapsing or flooding or something going on with this drainage pipe. So, lucky for me, what the people who put these rocks here thought were regular Hunks of sandstone actually contained interesting crystals, as you can see already. So, here's another one of the boulders I've pulled out. Once again, with some interesting red crystals. And as you guys can see, it's still pretty dirty. So, stick around to the end of the video to see every one of these rocks cleaned up. The best I can do. And so you'll be able to see all the crystals. Who knows what's behind that dirt. So, yeah. Um, I've got some other stuff over here. I showed those orange ones. There's also, probably already saw it, another really interesting crystal rock. You can see there's kind of sandstone in the center and then crystals around it, which is really interesting. Got some dirt on my finger. <laughs> but yeah, this one isn't even cleaned up either. I'm sure it'll look really cool. Also, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I will show you 
some other rocks that I found in this location a couple days ago, including some pieces of sandstone with very, very large blue calcite crystals, which are very interesting. So stick around to see that. Here is the location right here where I have been kind of digging away at this rock containing the orange calcite. And as you guys can see, there is, I've just got some pieces on this rock here. This is a really interesting one right here. The orange kind of went directly into the crystals. And here's one. That's got some nice orange in it. You can see there's a little bit of a cavity as well. Sorry about the noise in the background. For some reason, one of my neighbors is always making a ton of noise and it's really great. <laughs> so here we have the mining site. As you can see, there's some other bugs. When I'm telling people I'm looking for bugs, there was they always think I'm looking for bugs, and in this case, there is bugs here. <laughs> There's been centipedes and spiders and stuff, but I don't mind them as long as they don't bite me. So I've kind of been crumbling this big old boulder apart here, and I, as you can see, I do have one piece left here um, connected to that piece, and it's just been crumbling around, and so I thought I might just uncover this with you guys. As you can see, I mean, there's not really, it's like that. I don't know if there's anything on this, but um, I'm just gonna uncover it live on camera here. Here we go, are you guys ready? Three, two, one, let's flip it over, here we go. Check it out, look at that guys. I guess there was something on this. Check that out. I'm gonna move it here. That is such a big one. Look at that crystal plate. Wow. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's kind of got a little pink tinge to it. It does have a little bit of that interesting white coating from the other ones. This is black over here. I think that's just kind of a residue, but this does have a little bit of orange on the side but mostly it's just the center but i mean look at that that's a really nice big crystal plate as you can see most of these over here are kind of small but that is actually pretty nice so <laughs> pretty cool there's another one and i will be doing more videos like this one in the future because as you can see i mean i still have a bunch of leaves in the middle area here so i'm going to uncover a lot of rocks in the future and i will be filming that on video so make sure you guys stick around wait a few days and that'll be up that one maybe i'll find something cool in that so there is a few rocks still in the ground here um just pulled that one up there's a little bit there not much Let's pull this one out Ooh. okay i mean Nothing crazy, but as you guys can see, there's a little bit of that orange stuff there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I did just notice that this mud here has got crystals too, so... Once again, that one would look pretty cool cleaned up. So... Ooh! <laughs> Check this out, guys. Just uncovered that one. <laughs> course I'm being an idiot and I was pointing the camera at my foot this whole time check out my foot so cool <laughs> but look at this I just found that one in there really fun put that on my little storage rock here so we got some leaves nothing much there uh, nothing on that hmm that one's got a little bit of something going on I'm just gonna get up for a second here because I have to sit in a very crouched position to actually be able to access that area, so it gets a little uncomfortable after a while. <laughs> Here's a little interesting 
fun fact. Uh, this sign is a golf ball sign. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I used to try and sell golf balls to golfers because I lived near a golf course. So, yes. This shows the importance of recycling. Once a golf ball sign, now a leaf fan. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty cool. I'm gonna do some parkour <laughs> to get back over here. It's kind of difficult. All right, here we go. Now we're back in there. Let's keep getting these little chunks out here. Little tiny amount of crystals in that one. Nothing much though. You see there's still a bit of the rock left down in here. It leaves on that one, but still nothing. Uh, right. Nothing on that. Hmm. I don't know, maybe there's nothing left in the rock. It's kind of hard to get some of this out of here. Let me see. The trick here is to get the hammer under the rock, and then you can get it out of the ground. It's kind of difficult. I'm just going to get back to you guys when I get this out. So I've just pried this rock out of the ground here. Hmm. Amazing. The tiniest bug ever seen. <laughs> Not much in that, I guess. But you never know when you're gonna find something. It is a little bit dark, so that could also be an issue. <laughs> it's freaking hard to dig. Oh, I'm on camera here. There we go. Got that out of the ground. Now, what does this rock hold? Pretty much nothing. Whoa, it's so crazy. But it's not crazy, cause it's crap. <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's something there. I probably am missing something here. There's a couple of bugs in there, so not terrible. Not terrible, but not too great either. It's getting kind of dark, and I can't really see it. So, I may be missing something right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I'm going to go back home, because I can't really see what I'm looking at. My... So thank you guys for watching this section of the video. And yeah, I'm going to cut the video real quick. Real quick means one second. Because by the time you guys see the video again, I'll be back in my house filming the cleanup. So make sure to stick around to see what these look like without any dirt. Very shiny crystals. Here we are back inside here's some of the rocks from today some cool orangey goodness there's that one it's a beautiful orange border to it. Very pretty. There's a crystal plate on top. Here's this red one over here. As you can see, this one is very interesting. Look at that. Stuff going on everywhere.
Thought I'd take this one back because it's got some nice orange calcite in it. Pretty cool. Here's the one I found with dirt on top of it. One of them, and I washed it off. There are those crystals, pretty cool. And here's the little pocket in the side. Pretty fun. And here, some of those crystals from the other day. You can see these are very beautiful. Pretty big calcite there. Really beautiful stuff. As you can see. And then here's another really cool piece right there. It's got some really cool crystals on there. Very beautiful. Here's the other side. And there's a little bit of red druzy quartz on the bottom too, as you can see. So yeah, with the calcite as well. You guys can see this piece. It's kind of an all-in-one. It's very beautiful. All right here, it's time for the big boy. Check this out. Remember that boulder in the video that had dirt on the back of it? Well, now it doesn't. And check out all the crystals. I mean, this right here is a sandstone, and that's the crystals. So, I mean, it's just got crystals all the way through it. I mean, you could just look at this thing for hours. So cool. So all these little pockets. Crevices. Got those crystals. Amazing. that side super cool and not only are there crystals everywhere I mean you can see that most of them are multicolored which was really cool here's more of the top view each one of these little pockets in here tells its own little story Totally unique, just beautiful. Let's just look at the top here. Look at that. Very pretty. Just a big old bowler or red druzy. A druzy quartz. Just like this piece here. <laughs> I'm using a headlamp as my flashlight. That's why you keep seeing that strap in the video. Alright, well. Just one last look at all of these here.
Very beautiful. Great finds today. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned to my channel for more videos like this coming soon. I'm gonna go back probably tomorrow. <laughs> uh, if you guys really enjoy the video, make sure to like the video, maybe even subscribe to my channel. As always, uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the future. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!